Please come in. How are you? I'm just fine. All right. Let's take a peek. Okay. This is the sink that uh, is screwing up. Okay, and as soon as you turn this on, it kind of backs up on both sides? Yeah, and then it backfills. Here it comes. Yep. So it's coming from... We got under here. Oh, that's an old sticker. I'm sorry. Uh, the sticker under there, that's our old one. Oh, you're the only ones we call. All right. Now, I have a question. Sure. Would you like to take a little trip downstairs and see where the pipes go and all that? Yeah, sure. And probably. Yeah. Well, I guess you didn't show up the one where... No, it was probably my husband. Okay. Um, but it, honestly, if I had to guess, it might just be right here in the trap. Because she said she didn't run it when the, um, when the, she had put the stake in there. Yeah. She said she didn't run the, the garbage disposal. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to take a guess and say it's going to be right in this section here. Uh, you know, but we can take a peek downstairs first, and then we'll go from there. I go. I think you're right. By the way, thank you for coming. Oh no problem. Nobody wants this headache around this time of year. Oh, God. <laughs> and you don't realize how necessary a sink is until you don't have one. Oh, exactly. These are some of my paintings. Oh, you paint those? Yeah, I'm a watercolorist. Oh, they're really pretty. Oh, the best. They're gorgeous. One, I think I want to show it to you because it's my favorite. This one here. This place is called Grasshopper Point. It's in Arizona, and my wife and I were told about this spot, and they said the area is just gorgeous. So we took a trip and we finally got there. And here's what we saw. That is absolutely gorgeous. I tell you, I, I am so lucky to have the talent to be able to. Yeah, you certainly are. These are very pretty. So you've visited all these places as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're gorgeous. Uh -oh. <clears throat> we just took a trip out to Las Vegas. Yeah. And uh, one of the our family that also gathered there with us, it was her birthday. Yeah. And I had some watercolor and some brushes and little bitty pads this big. And I said, I'm going to go out and do a little painting. And I went out and did a quickie of a, a scene that just was beautiful. And I brought it back and, and I said, happy birthday. And she said, really? And I said, yeah, this is yours. And what's more, I'm going to take it home and I'll frame it. And she lives in uh, Manchester. Oh, okay. So it worked out good. Yeah, that definitely does. Yeah, they're super pretty. Oh, let's go in. This is where I do all my work, so excuse the... Oh, no, you're fine. ...symbols and stuff. You are fine. All right, so it comes down right there. It doesn't look like any water dripped down here, which is good. And it goes that way. All right. And come in here, and you'll see where... Oh, turn that light on right there, on, right there. <clears throat> and that part goes... There. And then and connects there, to that PVC. And then that white pipe, and it goes right down to the, the main system. Okay. Alrighty. I have a feeling it's not going to be this far down, especially where she said it clogged up right because she didn't use the garbage disposal. Yeah. Um, and the stake just kind of went down on its own. Boy, stake is tough on the Yeah, you're not supposed to put it in there. I'm not, I didn't realize she did that. 
most garbage disposals don't like meat. <laughs> oh, okay. I just want to pull some stuff get, out. Yeah, I just want to, I like to clean it out just in case stuff gets I underneath there. I mean, you already have a little bit of water under here, so we don't want to increase oh, it. And then I can dry it up a little bit. I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's just because of the pressure in the drain. Yeah. Um, so it's dripping. Something that you can put under that whenever you're going, whenever you open it up to let it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use my vacuum and suck it out through the top. Oh okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna suck all this water out first okay. before I um, take anything apart down there. Gotcha. Alrighty, I'll be right back in. Okay. Holy Hannah, it looks like a bomb went off in here. That's another one to your left up there. Oh, that big one? Yeah. Wow. You're you are very talented at that. Well, it's my profession. I'm a professional, professional watercolorist. Oh. That's even better. Oh, right. 
Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. Doesn't phase me one bit. And any questions you have, don't hesitate to ask. I like those too. <coughs> you see the plug in underneath the overhead? Oh. Yes, I do. That's right where I was headed. God, you seem awfully Just... young to be doing this. <laughs> I'm, I'm 34. Oh my, the whole, you're hanging in there. Yep. But. I'm 88. Well, you're still watercoloring, so that's always good. Oh, yeah. Stop. Taking the water out of there where it won't flow out when you work on the bottom part. Exactly. So, I mean, I'll have a little bit that will come out at me. Oh, sure. But I have a bucket that I'm going to put under there to catch it. Yeah. So, I have my little bucket under here. So, I'm going to put that. So, I'll have that there so that it'll catch whatever comes out at me. I have this little bucket. Are you married? I am. So my husband and I, well, it's my husband's company. He started it before we got together. Um, That's fantastic. So it's just the two of us. Is this usual that you come and take the load off of the company by coming by yourself? Or do you always go um, it, it varies. Sometimes it'll just be me. Sometimes it'll be me and my husband. Yeah. Um, it all depends on the job. Usually with main lines, it's a lot easier if there's two of us. Well, you seem like you enjoy what you're doing. Oh, I do. I love working with my hands. I love the customer interactions. Sure. <clears throat> I'm Native American. Cherokee, Indian. Yeah. And I'm originally from Oklahoma. What made you come out here? It's cold. I've been thinking that in the last few days. I did. <laughs> I think but, that all the time. And I was born and raised here. I'm like, why am I still here? It's so cold. Well, in Oklahoma, it gets pistol hot. Oh. I mean, really hot days. Like, is it hot and humid, though, or is it just hot like a dry heat? No, it's humid. See, we live near, down there, we're near the Gulf Coast. Right. And a lot of your prevailing winds come up from the Gulf across Kansas. And oh, Canada okay. Tornadoes. Right, right. I've been in two. Tornadoes? Wow. That must have been scary. It was absolutely scary. I can only imagine. We don't get anything like that up here. Well, How long have you been up here? Um, uh, seven years. Okay. No, no, maybe close to sixty. Yeah, because we. Here. We were married and then came up here and bought land, and we've been married uh, 60 years. Oh, wow. And we still like each other. I know. My husband said, so we were together for eight years, uh, seven years before we got married. And he tells me all the time, it's a lot of the same peanut butter and jelly. 
That's what he how he says it. But I guess once you get once you're with somebody and you're actually truly happy and you can compliment each other, I think it makes a big difference. Well, she and I have a have a ritual when we're getting ready to go to sleep or we watch the TV in the bed, we hold hands. Oh, that is so sweet. It really is. And it's I'm attached to her, you know? Right. Wow. You know, uh, and I love hearing stuff like that. So people think I'm weird because I won't go to bed unless my husband's in the bed with me. I can't. I can't. I can fall asleep on the couch. If he's in his chair, I can fall asleep on the couch, but I cannot go in that bed unless he's in the bed with me. I can't do it. I don't know why. It's just how I am. And there's times when he's been in the hospital and I just, I can't sleep because he's not right there. Yeah. And people think it's weird because I'll be honest, I was married once before him. I, I did get two beautiful girls out of that marriage, but I was able to go to sleep all the time while he wasn't next to me. But with my husband, Bob, it's it's totally different. I can't, I can't sleep without him next to me. Yeah. My wife says I'm going to be thrown in jail because I love babies so much. <sighs> and I will walk up and, and compliment the woman and say, your baby is gorgeous. You know? Well, I'll show you pictures of my babies. They're not really babies anymore. I have a, um, my youngest is 11 and my oldest is 15, both girls. Um, my youngest comes and works with me sometimes, but she's at school right now. Oh my so God. that's a great thing to have her do. Yeah, she loves she loves what I do. She loves it. She loves coming to work with me. Um, so where's your bathroom, honey? So I can dump this pail before I start of sneaking. Uh, down the hall in the first door. The door is open. The first door on the right. Okay. Second door, actually. All right. Yeah, I just want to dump this. Yep. Now, have you seen any indication that that was... It's going to be farther out. Yeah. The only reason why I say that is because... There was a little bit of stuff in the trap part, um, but most of my water pressure came back from this side. So it's gonna be farther down. Um, so I'm gonna run the snake through it and we will get you draining. I do it every time. So, all right, I just have to run out and get my, my um, snake and something to put on your floor so I don't make a mess. I tell you, you're sure you're impressive. <laughs> Thank you. That one's too yucky. Ugh. Some of them aren't as bad up here. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, I'm gonna help you. Oh, 
go. I'm good, honey. I am good. Are you able to take that last elbow off? The one that's closest going downstairs to downstairs? Yeah. No. No, that one's glued on. The only part of this that you can, that's a slip connection. You can take a, apart this, this entire arm right here. Uh -huh. You can take that apart and you can take this tail piece off and then you can take off the trap. Other than that, you can't take off anything past this point. Um, you can take off, there is a mechanical vent back there right behind the, the garbage disposal. You can take that off, but. That's a lot of trouble here in a tight space. Right. To get back there, um, that would have been an ideal spot to snake it from I as know, well. But to get back there with the snake, it would just, it's, it's too risky. But I will tell you a secret. I found one of your wife's sponges she probably lost. <laughs> so I have, um, have you seen that new charter school down the street over there on West Hollis Street where Dartmouth, my youngest goes there. Um, and she has a, a friend that lives down the street, right on the corner, as you're taking the right up the street that way. Yeah. She lives right there on the corner. My son, who is 55, he, you know, spent all of his childhood days here in this home. And, uh, what the world was that? Oh, no. oh, the Christmas. How? Oh, it. You know what? It came unstuck, honey. Yeah. Okay. You need a new command strip. Yeah, I got some. I'll just lay this in here because it's just gonna fall off again. All right, I'm just gonna throw this away. Oh, of course. That's the only bad thing about those is that they dry up and they just fall right well, off. Plus, if it's in the sun, the sun. Right. The, the it like it bakes it. Yeah. So I found these newer ones. They're still by the 3M, the command, but they're big and silver. And my front door sits right in front of the sun all day, and it's been on there for like three years and hasn't budged. It's a really pretty silver one. Lady is doing this stuff and she is doing a great job. Are you all alone? I am. Oh. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Not bad. Oh, you gotta empty all that up. <laughs> oh god. So I'll be honest with you, it was it was it's definitely farther down. It wasn't just the steak that you put in there. It's probably built up. Judging by the sticker, my husband was the last one here and it was before I was even in the truck. Oh. So and that's eight years ago. Well, yeah. So you're, you guys are doing pretty good for eight years for it not backing up again. Because so. I remember we had put a new, when they put that PVC pipe in. Yeah. Didn't they put a new garbage disposal in? But is it right on the garbage disposal, the sticker? Oh. No, it's actually on the tailpiece across yeah, from the. But it's on the, oh, the PVC though, right? Yeah, it's on the PVC oh, tailpiece. Yeah. I can only tell that because our newer stickers are the truck and they're in three different colors instead yeah. of just the one blue color. That's a big truck <laughs> for you to be driving. I drive an F-350 too, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a typical girl. No, my daughter is neither. She's a firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not trying to be rude, but it's going to get a little loud for a minute so I can get down the, of course. the pipe. Whatever you have to do. Well, I guess. 
65. She can't afford $65. That's why I told her last year, no presents. All I've got. What's this? It looks like a check. This doesn't look like a check. Oh, maybe that's just cutting that up. Oh, no, this paper again. Oh, girly girl. Oh, you feel like a scrunch? <laughs> right now. But we talked about this. $20, a Christmas bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, Peggy, Peggy, I'm not even going to check that check. Oh my goodness, it's getting so bad. Our oil heat is ridiculous. Oh, we get oil heat too. We, ha we haven't had a fill for a while. It's due. Because we've been... Keeping it down as much as you can. I have, like I told you earlier, I have two girls at home. One's a 15-year-old and one's an 11-year-old. And then there's myself and my husband. And uh, it's also for our hot water. So we just put 150 gallons in it and it was almost $800. Yeah. Yeah, we had it, we had it filled in like the end of April, the end, sometime around April, May, and it was $800. It's, it's scary, it's so bad. And the taxes in Nashua went sky high. Oh my goodness, it's, it's so bad. I valued this house at 100,000 more than it was last year. My, uh, we have a friend up in Berlin, New Hampshire. They're putting in heated sidewalks up there. And like, that's not a very rich, even tourist wise, it's not a very big place. And they like tripled his taxes. He's like, it's not even worth it to live here anymore. No, I, I went to the city hall and I complained. I said, we've lived here 56 years and this looks like we're gonna have to sell our house. Oh, it's, it's so bad. It's terrible. Uh, All right, I think I'll go up into that mechanical vent. It's just going up in the so I just have to check my bend in the cable and make sure I'm going the right direction. Shelly. Shelly? Yep. My wife is Donna and they call me Chief. Donna and Chief, I can remember that.
one. I'll explain it in a second. It was right where the PVC. It was right where the PVC and the, the metal meets downstairs. Because when I went farther into the metal, I could hear it hollow. Um, so that tells me that it was right where the. Just before it goes into the surface. Exactly. I was so glad I didn't cover it in my phone directory. <laughs> I say, I know I put it in there. Yes, she noticed the sticker in there when the last Yeah, well, I'll, I'll look at that. But I can't find it in my... I didn't know the sticker was there. So I'm going to leave that one there, but I'm going to put one right here for you as well. On the door. Yeah. Wow, this what you need a few days before Christmas. It could be worse, though. It could yeah. be a whole house. Yeah, it could have been. Always have to think of the positive. You're right. So I went to the. Oh, <laughs> I got the clothes out there. Oh, but they're out front. I found a sponge that I think you might have lost. It was down in the hole on the side over there. <laughs> Probably been there. Maybe I'll throw it out. <laughs> oh, it's brand new. Oh, yeah. It did have a package of them down there, yeah. Oh, that's the worst corner. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's so... You can't get to it. Right, you can't get to it. You can't really even store anything in it because... Yeah. Yeah, it's a wasted space. Right. Oh. I'm just weary with all this Christmas crap and <laughs> I thought when I got my age I wouldn't have to do this stuff anymore, you know, yeah, but... and cooking. Oh. So quickly. Oh, no problem. People can't get there. Now, does your husband do this work too? Or yeah, so my husband is the one that started the company. Yeah. Um, he started it. Oh, goodness. Uh, 20, almost 23. It'll be 23 years next year. Wow. Um, he started it 23 years ago. Um, and I just joined up with him working with him eight years ago. Yeah. No, eight years ago. Yeah, because we'll be together nine years. So. I, I said, yeah, I remember a guy and his girlfriend, a guy and his wife coming. Oh, so maybe it was me when I first got in the truck. Because I'm the only girlfriend he's ever had work with him. Yeah. So it's possible that it was us. Like, well, it's the only number I had in the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool how that. Yeah, it's just a little, we call it, it's a bucket, it's called a bucket head. Yeah. Um, so it's actually makes it quite easy. 
So we're gonna fill up the big side. While that's filling up, I'm gonna clean up my mess. I bet you can get worse clogs than this. <laughs> uh, some, some of them are pretty bad. I'll be uh, completely honest with you, some of them are really bad. This one wasn't, this one wasn't bad at all. Look what I remembered to get you. Well, I just happened to see it on the shelf. I love Masco. <laughs> you know, being from the Southwest, I grew up on hot food. Right. Goodness, just the price of eggs is terrible. Ugh. You know, they had a thing on Good Morning America. You know, a few months ago, they paid a dollar something for eggs, and now it's two eighty eight dollars wherever they were, what part of the country. I'm paying Right. <laughs> I know. I usually get the 18 count at a time, and it, I pay almost $8 for an 18 count. Right. The only place that I've found them less is at Aldi. Aldi. I've never been in there. I've got, if, if they advise that, go to the discount. Yeah. Store. So if you, if you go to Aldi, there's, I mean, you're not always going to find the same stuff all the time, but like the necessities you'll find. Yeah. I water plants. Uh, That's my little part-time job. But this, I have to go to a dentist's office one, every two weeks. But I can only go between one and two when they're at lunch. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's on the other side of Nashville. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, that will be my next stop. I'll right be behind you, honey. Oh, I'll get out of your way. Okay. Now that his cars go down, we're like a private taxi. 
Yeah. But you know, that's pretty hard. We have a hard time saying no to one. Yeah, because he does a demand and uh, he's very active. So we enjoy this company. Oh, it sounds like you do. Yeah, we really, but he lives in Hilton. He doesn't do it himself. Right. Really right <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well guess what? You're all back you're back in business. Hooray, thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem. I'm gonna tuck all the stuff back underneath. Oh, I can put it back. I'm, Are I'll you sure? Clean under there. It needs it anyway. Yeah, and I'll put it all it. back. <laughs> All yeah, right. You don't have to do that because. Well, I'm going to put this sticker here. Okay. <laughs> that way, there you guys have it right here, too, so you don't have to get underneath and. Oh, that's better on the door. The door's going to be dirty. Yeah, at least we'll uh, keep track of it. So there's that. I also have a magnet for you. That's good. <laughs> Those are our newer business cards, the magnets. Yeah, because <laughs> right up there. All right. I hope you enjoy your Christmas. Oh, you too. When we bought this house, we paid $15,000. Wow. Just think it's a gorgeous house for that. <laughs> the way money is going nowadays, it's it's a gorgeous home. Yeah. Well, enjoy. It was nice seeing you.